on camera. There we are. You can see me. There I am. Holy cow, isn't that neat? There I am, right there. Isn't that cool? There they are. There's there. There's Auntie Caitlin. There you go. Bye, girls. I love you. Ah. I know. I tried to get her to fix those. Oh, okay, okay. Now I think we're ready. Ha <laughs> ha. Howdy, folks. Welcome back to another exciting venture. We have about two more minutes until we're going to go live here. As you can see by the team chart, we're going to be playing the Wake Forest Warriors once again. It's going to be an interesting game, I'm hoping. Something that's going to be a little... Challenging, but we'll see. Anyhow, let's take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. <laughs> So it looks like we're getting ready to start here. Give it just uh, give or take a minute or two. Not even that. I think we're getting ready to head into the uh, head into the match here very very shortly. Today's game, of course, and all games are brought to you by Code Ninjas. Our Code Ninjas in Hanover, Pennsylvania, conveniently located on the Carlisle Pike, Carlisle Road, Carlisle Street. We're going to kick off our JV side here very, very shortly. Just waiting on them to pop in there. Let's go ahead and do a show and see exactly who we've got here on our junior varsity. And of our horde. We've got Abram, Little Dog, 248. And there's Barrett, Barebone Faggins, 5. And then we have Declan, DC Fuse. And then we have Eli, Nasty Niffler. And then we have Ethan, Agent Tech. And we have Tyler, Tiger Bowling. We're going to go ahead and round out the uh, the top list. As you can see, they're listed over there on the right-hand side underneath the Code Ninja's Hanover banner. Down below, uh, my name, and, and down below here, you can also find out more information about summer camps and other upcoming activities, such as a fall league for playing Overwatch, which we will be filling uh, or fulfilling here very, very shortly. Starting in August, we'll be looking for the players for that. <laughs> All right. 
Anyhow. Yep, that's what we're looking at here. Trying to get this, uh... This finished. I'm gonna be getting started here very shortly. As a matter of fact, right now. How convenient is that? Welcome to Paris. And yeah, we're gonna be looking through a parasite. The name of the game today is Attack. Initiating match. Very much the same as we've played before. Basically just hammer it on and hammer it hard as fast as you can. There are a few choke points within this. Uh, really no control points. This isn't control. Attacks really just sort of beating each other up until somebody wins. You know what? Sounds like fun. Like little brothers and sisters or little brothers used to beat up other little brothers. Kind of like that. Ready for battle. Wait and see what we've got going on here. Wait for the teams to actually perk up. We are playing as the home team today, hosting, and uh, there over there is the Wake Forest Warriors. Attackers incoming. Over there are our boys. The one giant fight going on here. JV side, our wrecking ball is already getting set up. He's sitting down there waiting. Bastion's moving in. We got a Reaper and a few other characters getting ready to play the game. Getting some prep going on, getting ready. Here we go. Time to play. Go. Fight going on early. Where is it coming in? The only thing about the fact is the fact that this game field can actually get pretty big. Oh, well, it's a wrecking ball versus a diva. Oh, wrecking ball took the fight. But the diva ended up getting pummeled from behind. Looks like the Reaper ended up taking her out. Our little hamster buddy. Looks like there's some uh, some shooting going on long range. A little bit of sniping going on. Of course, usually in the game of Overwatch, if you have the upper area, the upper field, you have the upper hand. Much like Obi Wan Kenobi told Anakin Skywalker, "Hey, I've got the high ground. You can't win." Yep, and that's kind of how it goes. A nice little fight going on Ooh, in all directions. They're defending the objective. Aha, yes, that is control point. So. Trying to keep that from getting over there. Nobody has actually gotten inside. Otherwise, a little A ring that goes around the middle top there would have some kind of coloration going around it. Stuff there. So, uh oh, somebody's gotten in. Ah, but they both got eliminated simultaneously. So, oh, here we go. We got a Bastion up against you. Oh, Bastion got a nasty takedown. Gonna be a Reaper against almost the whole team, and that's just not gonna happen. Ah, Wrecking Ball comes in and saves the day, drops a few mines. Yes, the Wrecking Ball does a sweep. Oh! Ah, oh, that's trying to do a smash. Very cool. New defense point. That's a new defense point now that they've taken that one over. Hello. Warriors will be heading over to Zed now. This one is actually closer to our spawn. Gale, 
A little bit of a fight going on out here. Taking them too far out of the range. We have a diva over here ourselves now. Diva into play. Uh oh. They've taken an attack. They're actually going to start splitting off and going around the end here. Shot color definitely. Actually, uh, DC2 is calling a few on those. Bottom right. Definitely got the scraps in there. Diva on Diva. That could be difficult. Take out their healers very, very quickly. Oh, and they've split apart and got a few of their guys down there on the edge. Definitely, uh... Definitely interesting, their tactic there. Hopefully the healers for the JV side are actually healing at this moment, trying to get the guys all the way up. A few of the guys are not complete. As you can tell by their stuff underneath. Well, they've tried a different tactic this time. Two minutes to defend this point because the other team from Wake Forest from being able to get Uh oh. Ah, they've done some good good damage there. It looks pretty evenly matched at this point. Very similar character fix. Take out that Bastion as quickly as you possibly can. A little bit strong coming in on that one option. Oh, the Reaper's way out there. He's checking things out. Keep it too far out. Don't want them to go too far. Here it comes. Here comes the team doing a little bit of recounting, scouting. I guess they got a good drop on where they were actually going to go. Ooh. They came in and took them apart from the rear. That's the problem. Wrecking Ball's doing a good job of dropping them out, but the only problem is... They're there. Enough people inside and they win that that round. Play of the game. Oh, the other Sigma doing a lot of damage. Well, we dropped that first match, but that's okay. That's okay. They're on the defensive side. It's only the first half of the first game, so we'll see exactly what happens here. Welcome to Paris. Taking a new strategy, and I think they've gotten on to, uh, caught on to exactly how we're doing things a little bit differently than most people, but, uh, those things are problematic, and we will uh, we will address those here when we get a chance to. First, we're going to come back into Paris for the second patch. See what we've got going. Oh, how pretty. Okay, so well, let's get to work. Ready for battle. Yeah, it'd be their their chance to try and defend this side. And our boys will be in red this time. Attacking party. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Their job is to come in and try and defend. 
Think they got a couple of heavy hitters going on here. Including what looks to be a junk rat. And And they're D.Va. And what looks to be a Bastion. Touch from Wrecking Ball tried to go up against what looks like uh, Yep, didn't work out too well. Our boys are in red this time. They're actually trying. Oh, we got our Bastion shooting into a car. Oh, and there was an ultimate that took him out. Oh my. Well played. Well played. Excellent performance. Man, they have upped the battle on this one. Good. We're going to move on to the second objective. Four minutes, 43 seconds. We'll take over this next objective. Closer to their spawn point, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for us to get there. We're going to go ahead and scoot on in here. Exactly where these guys are playing. Oh, the Wrecking Ball is doing a sweep already. Trying to work on their defense. Which could be futile with five people in there attempting to... Trying to push through that choke point. Ooh, Diva decided to grab a hold and destroy a few of those guys in the meantime. They're trying to destroy Diva. Oh, Diva decided to jump into the corner and lay off her bomb, but the problem was she wasn't actually there. There's nobody there. Sure, that was a good one. The Reaper against four of the, the team members, five of the team members now. And he got a couple of them while they were still in there. Most of those of support support are not very strong when it comes to trying to off somebody with a DPS, especially. It take a little longer for them to regroup. gonna take a little bit longer and a little bit more difficulty for them to get through that choke point. And we're looking to see whether or not the uh, the actual statistics are going to be come in with this. I mean, the, the, the objective here is to get into this point, but... Uh, Team looks like it's faltering and coming in on individual pieces, and that's not uh, not helpful. Tittering apart and trying to shoot a few people at a time is just not going to work when the whole team's standing in there. Well, that worked. 
Oh, then there's the star, Tebe. Hard to get them. Yep, to kill that first. And then get in there and start destroying those boys. Yes, there you go. Wrecking Ball needs to get in there and start doing some damage. Oh. Just under two minutes left over for them to try and take this point. They've got about a third of the point scored up so far. Need to get everybody in there. Eventual. Ah, I didn't drop the mines. The mines will definitely be helpful. But it didn't help out enough. Wrecking Ball ended up taking a little bit of the meat. Still getting in there some. Stay hidden. There you go. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. That's the main thing. You gotta get him out of that circle. You get him out. That's gonna take him down. There you go. Most of the team's in there now, and there it is. Oh no, we got a victory in that one. So. Play of the game. That ultimate sure did do the damage, didn't it? Boom, right there. Nothing like that junk rat tire. Okay, let's, let's figure out exactly what we're doing here. As I initially thought, it looks like we're going to do a tie. So we're going to go ahead and head on to our next map, which is going to be Temple of Anubis. Let's uh, give our chance for our JV squad to show off their prowess, hopefully, and we'll uh, get to see what we've got going on. A couple of minutes, and we'll be right back.
All right, after a little coaching discussion, a little bit of a uh, little bit of strategic thinking here, getting a little bit behind what exactly what we're going to try and do in this next one. Not exactly, but pretty close to it. Hoping to actually score kind of big and kind of fast. I was thinking. So we're going to get on to our next game here in a minute. All right, so we're working on a few minor details, and then we'll have everything back to back to ready to rock and roll. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be going into uh, opportunity to try and get into esports. If you want to be able to get into esports, the days on this commercial are wrong. It'd be August this year. Hi, folks. is in Hanover, Pennsylvania, uh, trying to get together an Overwatch team. And uh, you could be involved in that. We have some amazing talent going on in here, but we could use you. That's right. If you want to learn a little more information about that, uh, just go ahead and uh, check out that telephone number. The one that's down below here. You can see it uh, over there and down below. It's. Uh, you can also use that email address to try and get in touch with Coach Josh uh, for our upcoming E-League stuff. Esports. Learn, get your kids to learn how to play and play professionally in such a professional and more in professional environment than they would if just sitting at home with their Xbox or sitting at home with their PC. Learn team skill building. Always fun. We're going to get started here very, very shortly. As soon as we do, I assure you, I'll be right back on the... Ladies and germs. So as it stands, we uh, we actually had a time-based uh, rule issue. Uh, competitive rules were actually turned off, and we needed that to be on. And uh, so what we're going to end up doing in order for play fair, and since these games typically go a little fast, we're just going to go ahead and play the JV again at Paris, same spot. See how we get with the two. That's the only downside to having something so brand new. Ready for battle. You gotta get these little little kinks worked out, little little quirks. Gotta get them worked out of the system, and unfortunately sometimes that happens. So 
Our boys, the Hanover Horde, will be in blue, as it was the first game last game, and then the red team will be our Wake Forest Warrior. So we know what kind of action to expect. We can expect the action is going to actually be pretty good. Doing a little bit of prep work on the bridge. Incoming attackers, and this time these guys are going to take a little bit better. I feel like they know exactly what they're going to do this time. But everything's always up in the air, you never know. Ooh, Cyber Strike, quite bad. A few hits on the guys, didn't get quite get it there. The bash out that they wanted to, but that's okay. Diva and the Wrecking Ball and Bastion are all working together to drop to form that Diva. Drop them completely on their head over that. And try and get them to not get through this point. Oh, a couple of the other team members are coming through. Sneaking in on the inside. Oh, our Diva gets knocked for a loop. And their Diva's in here working on it. They have reached the checkpoint. Ah, uh, Reaper's in there trying to get a little bit of a... Little bit of that. Oh, Wrecking Ball tried to get in there to get a little bit of leverage. Did not work. At 80%, 90%, and they have successfully scored that objective. New defense point, objective B. Now they're taking over for objective B. They have five minutes and 16 seconds to try and score on this objective. Play this with competitive rules, and that's what we were talking about during this intermission. Inside. 46, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%, and it's a team wipe. They have they have eliminated the Hanover Horde. With a time remaining of four minutes and thirty-three seconds. Initiating match. That was, uh, that was quite quick. Defense got torn apart. Well, that's okay. We're gonna try it over here again. This time we're switching sides. Ready for battle. Well, no, we're staying in the same, so we have the, uh, same colors. And we're still in blue. But the Warriors were playing defense this time. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. To try and defend their point. Hey guys, Liam. You gotta scoot that way, please. That way, Declan's not getting confused. Try this again. Now they've taken a little bit of a stance. So they've moved apart and they've got their team together, but they've got different strategic points that they're trying to block off. Little 
bit of a issue trying to get in there. We've gotten down, okay. We've got some people in, but now what they need to do is be able to get over to this space, which they just did. They've encountered more problems. Okay. There you go. Take the objective. Get the diva. Everybody focus on the diva. That's right. Wipe her with extreme prejudice. All right, five minutes, 34 seconds remaining. Trying to get over there. Issue going through. Oh, and they destroyed the wrecking ball, but that's okay. Diva's still working on her marking her magic. Try and get in there. Oh, they're tethered in. Okay. Using their strategy. There you go. There's the strategy. Trying to get in there is definitely is possible. It's definitely is possible. They were denied quite a bit of exposure to be able to get in there. The guys are back at the spawn point. They've been working their way to try and get in here, and there's Sebastian uh, back there trying to shoot his way in. Or no, wrecking ball. Sorry. Oh, well, there we go. The team is making its run. Getting in there. Wrecking Ball's doing the swing. Getting knocked out of the zone. There you go. As much as they want to come in there and stay in there, they can't. Oh, there he goes. Wrecking Ball got a little bit on the inside. Oh! One on one taken out. The guys are in. And the objective is secured. I do need to make an adjustment here. That will come down and do right now, as a matter of fact. The score is tied, and since we started over, we're going to go ahead and say it. Everybody's 0 0. So now, there's a remainder of time left over, and since we have less time, two minutes, we have to try and attempt to get to that zone, try and knock them out, in under two minutes. Not impossible. Mistaken, we're going to end up back up at the same spot, the beginning one. Incoming in 30 seconds. The Wake Forest Warriors are in there. They're going to be in here trying to save, stave off our boys from getting into this control point. Stealthiness over here on the right, and the Bastion's playing off as their
One minute, 20 seconds. There is still plenty of time for them to be able to get in there and do something about it, but we shall see exactly what's happening here. There you go. Drop him. There you go. Swing up there and get that fashion too. Ah. Uh, too many guys to try and take out in one spot. Just didn't work out. Get in there. It's not functioning accurately. I'm not able to get in. Now I need to get to get some guys in there. There you go. Get enough guys in there. It'll go to overtime if they try to attack. At least get one point. There it goes. They've officially gotten that objective. Now it's still in overtime. They've 30 seconds to get over to the other side and try and attack that point. Diva's a little bit behind. Ooh. Diva took a hardcore hit. Trying to get one support to fight against the DPS. Gonna be very difficult. Guys on the inside. Overtime is done. That is that. They now have exactly three minutes and two seconds to score both goals in order to win the match or a tie if they get one. Let's see what happens. Oh, even the chandelier can't take the excitement. Look at that. It's winging away. We go back over to that set point. Get set up and ready to rock and roll. Ready for battle. And of course, our boys are going to have to defend. Defense is over there. It's gonna be trying. Trying to get through here. They did a pretty handy job of getting us torn apart pretty easily the very first match. See if we can avoid that from happening again. We have a Diva Reaper and a Wrecking Ball, a Bastion. Here they come. Yep, they're coming straight down. Up oh, there they go. We've got one going around the edge. Reaper. We'll make quick work of that. Wrecking Ball can take out that Diva, that would be great. Can be difficult to do. Very difficult to do. Bastion's picked a good spot. Excellent spot. Uh oh. Diva's got a little bit of an attack at Grimzar. Wrecking ball, ooh, at the perfect time to come in there and try and prevent them from getting any closer. Yes, there you go. Wrecking ball rolled over Diva. There you go, sir. 
Trying to get in there, but we got guys still in here, preventing us from getting any kind of points. A minute and 30 seconds left. They just gotta get in there and try and get them. There you go. They're hiding. Little spots here and there. They're trying to hide. Okay. There we go. Everybody get healed up now. That's the main thing. Everybody's got to be healed up. He was taking some damage. He was taking some damage. Oh no. Now we lost our reaper. Go and control the point. 49 seconds left. I got to prevent them guys from getting him through there. Excellent. Whole bunch of a fight going on from a distance. These guys have done an excellent job of scoring down there. Good golly, Miss Molly. Very difficult. They're gonna try a sublim attack. They're gonna try and come in at almost full force now. And that's ultimate's gonna do a lot of damage. Yes. That damage is gonna do a lot of damage. Ten seconds, and then we're gonna go to ultimate overtime. And that will do it. There it is. Very good. All right. Ford wins it. Man, that was close. That was so close. Nothing like going into that tiebreaker thinking, yeah, and you have got the down part. And then they were Reaper taking it to him. Boom, 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 boom. Excellent. Excellent job. Very cool. Very, very cool. Now we're going to go ahead and take a little bit of a break. and get ready for this next match. Man, that was intense. Boy, you gotta love it when these games get intense. These kids get into it so much, so physically and so emotionally. It's all raw, man. It's so intense and raw. Extreme, extreme, yeah, extremely interesting to see the, the factors of drama go on when this happens, man. Esports is the place to be. This, you just can't get into this, this tighter, this strategically enhanced, this greatness. It's just wonderful. So we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs>
We're getting ready to take on the Temple of Anubis. Really wild, wild, wild sides. This area right here is probably going to be our first control point. Usually right here on the platform. Off that peninsula top right there. That's it. There's the control point. As you can see, there's a couple coming in there. Everybody's getting ready. We're coming in for a... Boys are coming in for a defensive posture. Try and defend this point. Not an easy thing to do. Temple of Anubis can be difficult. Yes, that's where you need to be, right there. Excellent. Here comes the objective. Here comes the attackers. Throwing some type of shield out there. They're trying to catch, take a shortcut. Ooh. Wrecking ball dominated. Wrecking Ball definitely took him to task. Holy cow. The team's only partially wiped. And we got a couple of guys that are out eh, making their way back from the spawn point. Eve is now in. There we go. Whole threshold of guys. That's way in the go. They're moving. They're moving very, very quickly. Trying to get on the outside. Looks like they're going to try and make their way around at some point here. Oh, they had one come in. Can't tell if that's a Mercy or that's a Brigitte. Somebody came in floating around. There you go. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that hammer, man. That hammer is lethal. <laughs> Main fight's going on right here. It's actually taking place. Uh-oh. A couple of our guys are losing out on this one. Oh, they're taking it in. Stutter stuff, there you go. Oh, that was an ultimate that went flying by, apparently. That's right. Yep. Smash. Smash and pull. Oh. It is Jet Association. Anybody get inside that control point to prevent these guys from getting this point. They have taken it. Still 4 minutes 14 seconds left. Now a new objective is actually being set up. These guys are getting ready for it over here. Almost as if they had expected to lose that point. Gonna get ready. This one's the hard one. This one can definitely be a little bit more tricky to try and pull out. Nerf this! Diva waits for that. Oh, the ultimate smash bashing, bashing down. Holy great balls of fire. This is just going to be a terrible wipe here. Diva can get in there and ah, there we go. Shoot from behind. That's the main thing with that soldier. You got to be able to get behind him and in front of him. The smasher. 
They're defending it, and then have about three minutes until they can actually get this win, but let's see if it prevent them from taking this last one. Okay. A little bit of a fight. Not going to be able to get that one scored down. Two minutes, 40 seconds left. These guys almost have it all. You just keep those guys from taking it over, but they've got a guy, one guy in there. Now they're second for the Bastion, and they've lost the point. That's okay. Round one is complete, and it goes to the opposite team. Two minutes, 30 seconds left Score. for a playoff. Zero to two. Switch sides. Initiating match. Now it's going to be a little bit more up for the JV to try and get in there. These guys to get in there and as quickly as possible take over that control point so they have that excess time. But we shall see exactly how that turns out. I don't think it's going to be... It's going to be as easy as we think it's going to be. This team has played amicably. I mean, they are really, really getting in there. Really, really sort of taking it to us, man. If they can really get us across that point and just... <laughs> that quickly and that easily, I'm pretty sure we've got a chance of... Uh, going to another tie round. We shall see. As it stands, the JV side of the Hanover Horde is undefeated so far, but uh, the other teams are getting impressively more and more uh, confident in their gameplay, making it very difficult for our boys to keep that, that undefeated going. Warriors are in there. They've got that ready to rock and roll. They're preventing the boys from coming in. Oh. I'm not going to play into that choke point that they are definitely trying to get in there. Nope, oh, a wrecking ball has made his way through. We only got one in there. Oh, nope, two in there to try and take out that wrecking ball. Ooh, Reaper's in there now trying to take it out. Nope, by themselves, lone wolfing it, trying to get in there. Definitely having more trouble. Is working her magic, trying to get in there. Not working. Team is now in there. There they go. Trying to prevent that from happening. Okay. Next objective. They're attempting a little bit of a hurt panel here. Oh, look at that. Right shield right in front of Bastion's not doing anything for them, but oh, he's just absorbing. Absorbing and tossing. It's never a good thing. We've got somebody in there already. Reaper's heading towards there. Oh, Wrecking Ball's in there too. Ooh, good try. Unfortunately, Wrecking Ball got wiped out pretty quickly by that. A hammer. Two more. Two more spots. Uh, the mouse is getting ready to die. It seems to me the mouse might be getting ready to die here. Having some problems in control. There we go. The grand. Oh! No! It took half the guys out. There it is. With four minutes and three seconds left to spare. That means we're going to be able to see this game play off. Two to two. They have two minutes and four minutes to attempt take over as many points as they potentially can.
we shall see just how this plays out. So we're going to try and get back over here to this point as quickly as possible. Get ready. Ready for battle. Let's just see exactly where we're at here. Let's get that horde flex on here. Horde flex. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Gotta get some fellas in this. We are gonna be on the defensive side. Yeah, you have two minutes to attempt to try and take out. If in two minutes they can take this, they'll get a little time extension. They have to go over to the other side and try and win that. Apparently, two minutes can be difficult. But these guys are playing so well over on the Wayward Forest side. We shall have to see how well that two minutes is going to play out. We already got some folks in there. Got a Reaper rocking and rolling in there. Diva's in here trying to fight off two DPS for up top. One of them, that looks like support. Nope, definitely do two DPS. Somebody's in here. Somebody's inside the round already. It's their Reaper. I don't know where the team's at. I'm not exactly sure where the team... Oh, there we go. The Reaper against that. Nope. The team is just going over, I guess, going over and getting ready with the next objective. Not sure who made that call, but somebody made that call. The team's getting ready right here. Tether him up. Yep. Uh oh. Wow. Wiped out the whole team. Gotta get in there. That's it. That was a two minute wipe on both scores, on both, both panels. Uh, I didn't think it was possible. They definitely did it. Initiating match. In order to win, our team's gonna have to take this out and uh, make sure they keep them from getting in there with uh, in under four minutes. That was uh, pretty intense. They uh, they did a really good job. I don't know. Maybe they uh, maybe they mistakenly had their varsity team hop on and start playing against the JV. I don't know. <laughs> ah, just one of those things. Kind of funny. inside jokes. No worries. We shall see exactly what's happening. Hopefully, hopefully we can break their defenses and get in there as quickly as possible. Attempt to try and get in there as quickly as we can. Touch from afar. I'm not exactly sure what the team's waiting on. I guess they're waiting, thinking they can't be able to get through this uh, this fight just yet. They are sitting at the choke point just. Holding out. I am not 
exactly sure. They have gathered everybody on the double shield. I don't know why the team's waiting. I, I don't know what they're waiting on. Not exactly sure. They're, they're standing back there. They're running around uh, in circles. But uh, yeah, I can't uh, can't quite tell what uh, what they're doing. Not sure what the game plan is. You can't send in one guy and expect that he's going to be able to live. That's just not going to be the plan. Look at that one swipe and ammo. Goodbye. No more wrecking ball. Uh, the whole team is. Um, not sure. Not sure what they're doing. Um, I'm not sure if it's just a situation where they're unsure what they're supposed to be doing here. Perhaps, maybe, um... Yeah, they should be getting in there. Yeah, two minutes left. Uh, they've got a tether. Somebody needs to destroy that tether. Prevent them from getting all that all that help. Yeah, that's not um, that's not not good. One minute thirty-five seconds left over for them to try and attempt to get this, and they have heavily fortified banks of guys standing here. Um, get that bastion out of the center of that thing. There you go. One minute, 18 seconds. There you go. Rolled kill. Aw, aw. 60 seconds. Let me stuff it, this thing. It's very funny. Very funny. Alright, they have um, less than a minute to get in here and attack and get this point. If they expect to win this point. Uh, let's see what happens. Good chance that they uh, will fight hard. But uh, I'm not exactly sure what the, what the uh, game plan is here with the team just sitting there trying to shoot from afar. This is not the defensive side. They are on the offensive side. They have to get in there. Oh, that's lots of, lots of blood is under there. Okay. Not sure if there was some confusion as to whether or not we're supposed to be in there, but uh... Attack and kill. Attack and kill. Gotta get it. Ooh. Gotta finish him off. Gotta finish him off. They did not finish up. There we go. That's that. Overtime is finished. Wake Forest wins it. Victory. Play of the game. Yeah, that Orisa is very, very difficult to get to sometimes. Alright, well. We shall say... Epic. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna go take a break. 
give a couple of minutes to go ahead and get these guys uh, settled and find out what's going on. Maybe get an idea. Uh, as it stands, I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, a little more game plan, a little more strategy. And there I am, at the Phantom of the Opera, as it was called, the Phantom of the Opera Lighting. Ha. Okay, so, we are at Horizon. Horizon Lunar Colony. I'm pretty sure the checkpoint's gonna be right over here. We'll find out. Yes. Massive choke points. First up, we'll work on the defensive, try and defend as much as we potentially can, but we're gonna have to see. This is a very difficult control point to get through. guys are setting up. It's also very difficult to organize there. Shooting someplace. Attempting to get something going on here. There we go. These guys will be coming through here any minute now. shield defense. Uh-oh. Oh, nice job. Nice job. <laughs> Dropping much of their team in the early first. Uh, we lost a few of our guys in the meantime, too. The compass not this 
suiting up. Game on. Switching up the ideas here is exactly where we're going to be going. There we go. Cannot get too far apart as a team. Definitely want to be able to take it to them as a, as a whole. Excellent job. Now we need healers in. Healers in. Get your guys done. Up the Reapers. Actually making his way into the back. Uh oh. Getting those guys down. Uh oh. We've got some competition. Here they come. That shield does not stop that telepath for emitted stuff. Their bastion's actually making the move. Uh oh. There you go. Little bit of a tie on. Get that tithing going. Oh, boom! Bye bye! One of Diva's coolest tricks is to be able to drop that little, that her armor as a bomb. Very, very cool. Very difficult to fight against, too, especially if you're too close to it. Doing a good job of fighting up there. They've got the Reaper in the back. He's in the back, but they've got him down. Good job. 30 seconds. They haven't taken the first one yet, which is good. Making their way in. Everybody get in there. Got a couple coming in. Here comes your Reaper. Or no, not a reaper. There's the reaper. Overtime, need to wipe out these guys. Got the bastion. There it is. Get him one last guy. Oh, no, two last guys. Get him. Five on one. Should be able to wipe him out pretty easily. There we go. Overtime. A simply a challenge. And there it is. Right. Round one complete. Very impressive. Zero to zero. Technically, all we have to do is score one. If we score one, we win this round. And we win the match. Or the game, sorry. For the JV. University has put on some really, really tough stuff. See what kind of defense they're gonna offer us here. Ready for battle. At Horizon. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. We have a little bit of time to try and get this involved and try and get the guys in as quickly as we possibly can to get them in there shooting the place up doing pretty good on time time's not uh, not too bad here we're not uh Five, having too many issues four, three, two, one. defensively speaking oh look at that they have put almost all of their guys on the lower level 
Almost nobody's in that upper that upper deck area. Do not try to engage them from that distance. You are going to lose. Do not try to engage them from that distance. You are going to lose. Their bastion is non-stop firing. They are uh, extreme firing. Yes, get your guy in there. That's insanity. Don't try to do that. Everybody in. Everybody in. We are trying to get that trick set up, and that trick is not going to be easy with all of their guys that are standing there. Every single one of them are pretty much aligned in this area. We need to fight team on team. There's no way to be able to get this unless you have an ultimate inside there. Not simple. Killed the mercy like it was nothing. They need to hurry. They're on a time limit. They've got less than almost two minutes. I don't know what they were doing. They were doing there. I don't know if that the, the bastion that went in early and ended up buying it or what happened there, but something definitely got really screwed up on that uh, that that play. Uh oh, then they brought somebody behind them. Oh man, that was just a sneak play. They have done oh, amazingly, amazingly good job in theorizing how they could get this win. You cannot take your mercy in there like that. It's not going to work. It's almost like one continuous stream of fire and pain and fire and pain and man, it's just me. Wrecking Ball is attempting to get in there. 60 seconds remaining. We might be looking at playing in both Sky Industries as our tiebreaker for today, because this one is yeah, coming down to zero. That's not going very far. There you go. There you go. Get in there. Get in there and attack that point. All you need is one second. One percent. Point one percent. Rush. Everybody rush. That would be the ultimate goal. See, everybody rush. Everybody rush. Diva should be flying at this point. There we go. Nope. And that's a tiebreaker. That is insanely a tiebreaker. Play of the game. Wow. At a loss for words, man. These guys have tightened it up really, really good. To be expected. To be expected. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Hang on one second.
Man, I do believe we're going to end up having to go to our, four, our fourth and final map, which is uh, an old favorite of ours, Full Sky Industries. Very difficult map to play on, but uh, at the same time, uh, maybe this team has had a chance to play on a little bit more. We'll see. As it stands, so uh, we are in a tiebreaker, man. We are pushing some time on this thing. Holy cow. It's, uh, yeah, looking at a little over an hour and a half now. Almost an hour and a half uh, playing on this one, so. Well, that's okay. We shall see exactly what's going on. Be back with you in just a second. Okay, we're going to start working on it here in just a second. I head directly into it. I believe maybe a little bit of a stretch session here and everybody to get uh, a little bit of coaching going on in the background and try and see if we can pull this one out. Man, I can't imagine if we end up a tiebreaker in that next one. We know this, uh, this play. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Pretty sure. I remember at one point in time we were playing with Lucio on our on our JV squad, but uh, we don't have one of those anymore. Not sure how we're going to get through this one. There's a couple of void spots in this one that make it great. If you do have a Lucio on your team, you can just pop people right off the edge. Makes it kind of fun. Uh, especially if you're trying to win. <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, we're going to have to wait and see here. Find out. Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Sky Industries. Let's take a look around. Oh, this is a different size of the map. We're kind of used to, so let's we'll see what was going on here. Volskaya Sky Industries. Look, and there's a big robot, my friend. The varsity teams just come back in from getting their pictures taken. It's getting a little bit noisy in here, but that's okay. Get our tight quarters going on in here. This is our control point. Everybody's going to be coming in in that same manner. In that same position. Horde will be defending first. Very, very interesting. Let's see. Let's see what we got. What kind of... What kind of fight we got in us for this, man. I know, uh... JV squad's got to be getting a little bit exhausted here. A lot of people don't realize just how much esports will take out on you mentally and physically, but mostly mentally. Ooh, they double screen. Oh, and then they came in and whomped on our on our on our bastion. That was terrible. Oh, May got destroyed. Wiped out almost practically instantly. Wow, they've moved into that control point swiftly. I mean swiftly. Pretty intense. I don't know if our guys were staying back or what the deal was, but yeah. 
Of course, the majority of the team's still sitting up over here. That Reaper. The Reaper's doing a good playback on this thing, man. Making it very difficult to actually get in there. Wrecking Ball, get in there and knock that Reaper out. There we go. Must protect this point with all. At all costs. Five minutes, 22 seconds, 20 seconds. Got something top left, top left. There you go. Wrecking ball took a little bit to them. And again, that Reaper is taking them for a ride. You know, the Wrecking Ball is doing a nice sweep. Good job. Trying to get in there. Wipe them through. Mercy's, Mercy's got it figured out. Providing a little bit more support basically for all of our guys over here. Oh, and there's your Bastion. Four minutes left for them to be able to protect this point. Four minutes. There they are coming in off the upper left. Uh-oh. Ultimate gets dropped. Definitely seemed like a bad situation. Those guys getting pulled up and dropped all over the place. Dropped out kind of crazy. But the ultimate wasn't as effective as they wanted. Three minutes, 30 seconds left. Still working on it, trying to get in there. I have a feeling they're back there strategizing exactly where they want to take this thing, how they want to take it in there. They know they've tried upper left, trying to get in there in that quadrant. That's not an easy thing to do to begin with, but they got in there, man, and certainly started tucking away to see if they could uh, shoot from afar, and it just didn't work out. There looks like they're going to try it again. Here comes the, here comes a, a couple of them in the clan. Warriors are trying to take it from up there. Definitely got a got a good defensive posture coming in there. Bastion shooting at something. I'm not exactly sure what he's shooting at. Uh oh, we've got some loss going on here. There they are. They are inside the barrier. Two minutes, thirty seconds left. Get in there, get in there. Get in there as quickly as you possibly can. It's a race to try to get your whole team back in there. That's right. Take them down, take them down. Get in there, there's your May or your Diva. Keep your Diva floating around inside that objective. Oh no, she ended up getting wiped. They ended up getting wiped. One minute, 55 seconds. They've lost the objective. One minute, 52 seconds left over. One minute, 52 seconds left over. And that's going to be a rugged one. Initiating match. Go out here, head back over to the spot we were at earlier. This guy right here in front of the big robot. Hello, give the robot a little kiss. Okay. I said to you, give robot kiss. Mm. Okay. So here we are. 
thinking of Old Sky has got to be very similar to Verdansk, which is a big modern warfare thing. Not exactly sure who plays modern warfare. I mean, come on, man. It's not that big of a game, right? 60 million players? Attackers anyway. In 30 seconds. Here we go. Gotten crazy. These guys are on the defense this time. They're going to try and protect. Oh, man. They're taking up uh, the defensive right there at the choke point. They're not even going to let those guys get through. A couple of guys already there. Set up the defensive very quickly. Oh, we've got a little bit of a change up in our plan, our game plan. There was a Winston. The Winston's already been wiped and eliminated. People doing some shooting. Some shooting. Hey, shooting techs. Couple shots from in here, man. Torben, Jordan, whatever his name is. Really, really difficult. You know, Winston would have come in really handy a minute ago when we were playing for defense, but now that we're playing for offense, I'm not exactly sure that was a great move, but we'll find out how well that plays out here very, very shortly. They are holding up that. Holding up that thing very, very quickly. It looks like they're gonna give that a shot over there. I'm gonna try and get in there. Very good. There you go. Get into that control point. And stick it out there. There you go. It's a chance to get away from that door, that choke point, man. That's, that's a really rough one. Get him away from that choke point. That's the ultimate idea. Because man, that's just tough. DPS trying to fire up. Uh oh. Looks that like a soldier 76 fighting against that guy, but see, we've actually taken it to them, and that's making all the difference because now they're actually having a really, really difficult time. Gonna stop anybody from the choke point. in there. Get him away from that. There you go. Oh, and he actually tried. That tether, that tether is a tough thing, man. You get that thing connected to those people there, you have a tough time to be able to get out of there. Tough time trying to take him down. Under a minute now. I'm trying to get this at least this one control point. I don't think that's going to that's certainly be a possibility today, but that's okay. Such a fun two hours of play in this game. So far for our JV side, like I said, it's exhausting, man. It really gets to you after a while. Tough, tough, tough stuff. Really, really putting them down. Laser, laser aiming and trying to get that in there. Ten seconds to try and make this happen. Not gonna happen. And that's it. The Warriors win. Well, I would like to be the first to congratulate the Warriors. Let them know, hey, that's really, really cool. Play of the game.
they were able to take out our JV squad. Die, die, die. Where's the Reaper? Really, really tough to try and take down. Not at all, at all easy. Now right, we're going to do a little bit of a switch here. We're going to go ahead and get our varsity squad in there. And when our varsity squad is ready, we shall go ahead and uh, talk to you a little bit more. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and take a break. I am Jeff, Coach Jeff. DJ Fame is my name. DJ F-A-I-M. I play on Mortal, uh, Modern Warfare at the moment, but, uh, you know, I played Overwatch too. So, anyhow... We'll take a break and be right back. You guys, stay tuned.
right, welcome back. Had some team pictures taken. Everything turned out pretty good. For the most part. Of course, we're not wearing facial masks, but... We are working on that. The uh, JV side will be getting their pictures done today. Wearing our beautiful jerseys. Definitely cool. So... We are switching sides, getting our varsity squad ready to rock and roll with this. Uh, loss for our JV side. No, no biggie. We're here to have fun. Everybody's here to have fun. Can't win them all. At least that's what you say. So, I'm gonna try and get this started here relatively shortly. And to do that, let's go ahead and switch up our teams and check out our varsity squad. Varsity Hanover Horde comes down to Colton. Gamertag is Weirdo. Hayden. Gamertag is, tag is H Jack Hammer. Isaiah. Whose Gamertag is It's Just Isaiah. Jack, whose gamer tag is Pizza Freak. Liam, whose gamer tag is Kid MDK. Zach, whose is whose gamer tag is Stormtrooper 461. That's it to round out the whole varsity squad. We are going to be going live to the stream here very, very shortly. Until the game actually kicks off, though, we're going to run a few commercials. <laughs> As it stands, we're getting ready to rock and roll. Initiating match. Oh, we went back and showed our varsity squad one more time. Let's go ahead and kick that out of there. And let's go ahead and get in here to the game. Starting with Paris. Control points, flags are flying. We're in uh, We Gay Paris. Welcome to Paris, ladies and gentlemen. Attackers You've been here before, which you have. Our boys will be first up to try and defend. <laughs> Voice of Diversity boys are coming off a loss from last week, which is unfortunate. Very tight, very close game. Unfortunately, they were not able to pull it out, but that's okay. We were also down uh, two of our regulars. We are back up to full capacity today. And we're going to show off a little bit of that team dynamic. Side. The Reaper is trying to make a play for it. Oh, Lord. 
a couple of our guys are not pulling any punches. Seriously, we're calling our, our foes here. Taking them out. Exactly what they're supposed to be doing. Dropping in. A couple of our team members are still on the inside. A couple of them are still working there, making their way back. Here they come. Four working in there, five working in there. Uh oh. Working on our shield strength. Uh, guys are coming in. Ah, and there we go with the Hanzos. Definitely. Ultimate worked his way down. And they have been able to take over Objective A. Objective B. Working on Objective B. Four minutes, 50 seconds to try and save or protect this objective. Team is not, not willing to come through that first choke point. They're actually trying it directly from the side. Coming in. Uh, uh, Lucio's moving in over there trying to take them out, pushing them off the side. Apparently, that worked out pretty well. The other team's making their way in. Team is trying to make it push. Oh, they're making a push to the left hand side this time. Ah, oh, and they've got a couple characters inside the spawn. Oh, there we go. Bring folks back in. Tried to pull off his ultimate die. It didn't work. They were trying definitely was interesting. Okay. <laughs> You're off the tide. Let's see exactly where they're going to try and come in. I believe they're going to come in right at the beginning. Yes, right at the beginning. <laughs> Making the push right up the center. Two minutes, 40 seconds to try and get in and get this point. Plenty of time for him if they can come up with the right strategy. Ah, that Hanzo pulled off an ultimate right through the center. Just didn't get enough guys. Good maneuverability there, and they've been the switch. Oh, we double shielded. Double shielded is like one of the best primary ideas that you can try to accomplish. Try to make your double shield as close to each other as possible. It makes it almost impossible to penetrate. You can't get anything through it. Stops all kinds of junk rat and Roadhog and stuff like that. I think the team made a switch. It looks like they might have picked up Hanzo now, too. Yes. Looks like they have. Yes. Um, control shift equals. Hang on, boys. Man, an issue. It looks like all six players are up. Nope, they have one player that dropped out.
Yeah, we're trying to get that figured out. I'm not exactly sure why that happened. I want to make sure this is as even as possible. Try to make sure the technology is working too while we have that chance. Pretty impressive sometimes. You talk about like this little town of Hanover, this little mark on the border of the Maryland and Pennsylvania border. Uh, this little town, and uh, we we rarely have any issues with this uh, with the internet or anything coming to uh, switches or anything like that. I mean, occasionally we have our little technological blunders, but we don't have anything that happens where we might just end up dropping off. This might just be a switch issue. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes somebody just ends up not uh, pressing the right button. Sometimes it happens. This is a technical glitch. So we call this. Uh, the coaches agreed that we should be able to have two timeouts. In the middle of playing, uh, four technical glitch situations up to five minutes for those two timeouts. I do not know how to do that. Not exactly sure. Yeah, so there's some issues. Uh, some things tend to happen sometimes. So, uh, you know, but uh, never an internet issue, not exactly sure. We're trying to figure out how to walk back the clock on the uh, on this, but I don't think you can actually do that because of this being a competitive, competitive nature. Let's either do this or replay the game over again. And sometimes that's only to be fair, but we still don't see that sixth player for their team coming. Exactly sure what's going on there. Well, now we've lost all six of our guys. I don't think we're going to be switching sides. I have a funny feeling we're probably going to be starting over again. Yes. It's going to take a little while. We've got a couple of guys that are out there. Ready for battle. Well, this is definitely an interesting situation. We're sort of stuck here. All of our guys have completely disappeared from the game, so... Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. I'm still in a different game. There we go. So we're going to head back to trying to get this one more time. I'm gonna try this over one more time. Hopefully this won't be a situation because if it is, then it's gonna have to be a forfeit. Uh, technically by the rules of the, the league. Due to the, uh, the rules of the league, uh, you have too many technical issues, no matter your timeout status. Definitely uh, end up forfeit game. Which is unfortunate because I'd rather see them play 
Uh, let's see what kind of foes we have in the long run. This will probably be one of our last games until the tournament with the Wake Forest Warriors. So, we shall find out what's happening here. Welcome to Paris. We're gonna try this one more time. Definitely like the gaming situation to try and get this in here. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. We're gonna as heavily involved as we possibly can. We're gonna try and come over here and get this all set up. La bonne affaire. Shield on shield, that could be difficult. Cool shield, there we go. Got a few people going to the side here. Turborn Jornson, whatever his name is, trying to sneak his way over. They tried the first time to do something very similar to this. Eventually successful. Not able to get that. There we go. Get yourselves apart and hopefully get a nice little attack rain on this. Uh, of course, this choke point is very defined. There's not many options for them to be able to go around. They really do kind of have to be able to come through this direction. Unless they want to spend more time going all the way around to the left. But one police plaza is very difficult to get through. Uh-oh. Guy on the inside. It definitely looks like it's a reaper. Uh-oh. Reaper on Reaper. Good job. Yeah, that's why you need some dragons here. Coming up very, very shortly. Oh. Oh, team wipe, almost perfect. If there hadn't been one the Reaper hanging behind, I think it would have been a team wipe. One minute, 36 seconds left over for them to attack this point and successfully get it. We'll see what happens. Man, did that technical timeout freeze the opposite side? I don't know. We'll have to see here. Definitely looks like we've got some action here yeah, trying to come in here. Uh -oh. Got one sneaking. Trying to take a shot against Lucio. Like a Reaper versus Lucio. Ooh, and they got him down. Uh oh. Hanging our Reaper. Billboard George and. Get in there. Nope, that would do it. No way to get there. You guys have resigned to go ahead and try and protect this point. New 
defense. Three minutes, 34 seconds, much better than it was last time. I think they had like five minutes they had to try and protect, although they were able to do it for quite a long time. Let's see if the opposite team's strategy actually changes. Very similar. Fighting going in on the side. We should continue. Ah, ah, ah. Getting a little bit sneaky. Coming around on that end point. Trying to get in there and get a little bit of time there. Oh, their, their play is exactly the way it was before. They're going to go to the right, or to our left this time. No right. I have a feeling they might be trying to make a difference here. Oh, we'll see exactly what's going on. They're trying that strategy right up the middle. It looks like it might actually be right up the middle. Yep. Definitely up the middle. Trying to get in there. Yeah. Uh -oh. They wiped out the whole team. One minute 41 left over in the round. Varsity squad has been dropped. One minute 41 seconds left, so they got both the objectives. Initiating match. That's one for defeat. Let's see what we can do over here now. One police plaza. And over here to the Hotel Bocille. Ready for battle. Over here and watch the boats coming by. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. They're going to be on the protection this time, trying to be on the defense. Oh, they picked a May. So now they have a May. She's responsible for ice throwing and all kinds of neat stuff. job of trying to fight him down. Fight him down good. We got three, four guys left. Some of that tour born I don't know what Lucio was thinking, but Lucio decided to jump right on in there and try to beat up them. Beat up four guys. That ain't gonna happen. That'll work. Get that May. Beat her up. There you go. I'd rather not, he says. Yeah, I think the other team's just gonna go ahead and fall back to their spot. 
Two minutes, 25 seconds. New defense point. Objective B. Alright. They didn't think they're going right up the center, but guess what? They're not. There you go. Do some nasty little damage. Almost a team wipe. Four minutes, 20 seconds left over. Try and get in here and do some specific type of damage. Guys, we've gotten smart again. Hey. Team has gotten a little bit better over here. They're actually covering their bases on both sides. There you go. Wear him out from the center. Went too far for his tether and ended up dying. Yes. Combined objective ultimates. And that's it. Team kill. Got that second round, man. Three minutes, 40 seconds left. We're going to a tie round. Tie breaking round. I gotta drop that time down. Initiating match. I'm going to have to defend for one minute forty-one seconds. Team's proven itself to be pretty, pretty well worthwhile adversaries. Now we have our full, uh, full onslaught of uh, our full complement. Uh, players back on the team. Our varsity team's uh, coherency has picked up a little bit. Again, it's summer league is always a little bit more difficult Attack because it's got those vacation vacation. <laughs> Holiday. <laughs> Must defend off for 1 minute 41 seconds and hope they do not get this this checkpoint. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. Prevent them from getting it. Yay, they're making a break for it. I think our boys are on to it. Got their Reaper. Lucio needs to knock them off the edge. Oh, never mind. Lucio's out. Do boarding soon. That's what you gotta do, man. Hit that guy with every power you got. Okay. Here we go. Seconds They've got one running in. Sleep potion. Big Star Reaper, 12 seconds. seconds. I would say it's pretty darn close to a team wipe. Keep them away from the point for at least another few seconds. We'll go to overtime. That's it. All right. No extra points added for theirs. Two to two. 
All we need to do is score one. Come on, boys, you got this. Initiating or the horde. <laughs> we can do this. We can do this. Take this one control point in three minutes, 40 seconds. Come in for defense. Can be kind of tactic. We're gonna take on here. Keep them kind of low. Okay. Bjornson and that. Uh, that chick. Yes. See what we got. Defend objective A. They're gonna go straight to that. Pretty much becoming that. Oh, they got themselves a wrecking ball now. Wrecking ball is gonna be very difficult to fight up. Especially if it starts getting a grip. Like such. Oh, tried to throw that in there. Yes, from the skies. Keep them tethered. Mercy's keeping them going. They got smart. They got the Puritanson. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. End of the game. Victory. Varsity team pulls off the first win. Play of the game. Anzo. Oh, Kuxis, you took over the world! Get that. <laughs> I'm probably saying something like feed the pigs in Japanese. I don't know. Anyway. Excellent job. Excellent job. Go ahead and get that one on the scoreboard there, ladies and gents. I do think that we have the ability to uh, hopefully get this one to go through a little bit quicker, a little bit sooner. I'm not even super concerned about going and having a conversation with my varsity team. But to be honest with you, I think they have the ability to pull this off. They know exactly what they need to do in order to win this. And there's uh, Coach Josh. He's got the ability to go over there too, but he's uh, he's in the middle of trying to set up this game. There we go, Temple of Anubis, just like at JV side. But we are. Uh, Code Ninja, here in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Come visit us, Code Ninja. We are located in Hanover, Pennsylvania on Carlisle Street, Carlisle Pike, Carlisle Road, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'll just pass the North Hanover Mall, the north end of Hanover. For now, and possibly opening up a new location, but we'll keep that under wraps. Here we go. <laughs>
Okay. Going to Temple of Anubis, heading over there. Should be heading over there in a moment. Anyhow. Somebody said Peppa Pig Pepper Taste Peachy and Pickly. I was in the team chat. That was kind of funny. They're going to be assembling their heroes, picking the people they want to play as our boys are getting them themselves ready. You know exactly what they want to be able to do here. Temple of Anubis. There we go. Here's our control point. We know exactly where that's at. Let's for this one. Gonna get a little bit of a flare back on my eyes. Can't see things. Ah, old age. Isn't it fun? Anyhow. They're trying with the straight on method. Trying to get those guys in there. Let's see if they got any uh, other guys on the outside. No, apparently they don't. They're trying to get oh, they a couple on the outside over there. Unsuccessful attempt. Oh, nope, they got some coming in the middle. There's that silly sleep. Ooh! That was a rush attack. He went straight through, knocked a couple guys over, and then... Oh, we got some disappearing magic going on now. It's a fact, Temple of Anubis is a favorite of a couple of our teams. Our guys, our teammates, guys on the team. We're not playing this one. Cheer up, Bajorn. Trying to get the strike in there. Oh, man. Got some guys dropped. Definitely hurt a little bit. Some kind of fighting going on here. Good job. Lucio's trying to drop him in there. Good job. One minute, 50 seconds left. Try and prevent the other team from getting in and to get our teammates back. We have a couple of guys we need to get back in here. There you go. I'm not exactly sure if the team just decided to head over there and then just thought they were giving it up. There you go. Roll in on top of him and shoot him right in his, uh, his behind. Get him all shot up. Good one. Let's protect for 60 seconds to keep them from scoring at all. Uh, that was good, excellent. Ah. Oh, it's a Reaper on Reaper. That's always an interesting battle. Ooh. Oh, 
scoreboards and Whatever. Whatever. Ten seconds. Oh, they switched over to a Winston. Tweak that Winston around. There you go. Four for Jorn. There you go. Hanzo with the drop. Bam! That's a zero point. Zero time remaining. There's no way they can get back from that. All I guys have to do is shoot is a score once. And much like the last round, game is over. But I've been mildly surprised by what's been happening. Oh, there's some kind of Star Wars stuff going on over there. And uh is that? That's an interesting point. Ready for battle. Mother Horde! Try and get this going. See if we can. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. They're here to protect. They definitely have their Reaper and their Torbjorn, whatever that guy's name is. This dude, hey, here. Big frilly dude. Or no, that's not Torbjorn. That's Torbjorn. No. Oh, they got a Roadhog. Roadhog. Swords and Reaper. Defend objective A. Oh, they picked some high-powered people, but not very armor-specific people. These guys have some power, but uh, the only one that's really, really... And even then, he's not good with his chain too much. You can get a shield on him, is that, yeah, that Roadhog. There you go. Is that keep them tethered? Keep them strung along. There you go. Then get that guy out of there, and this is it. Getting shot directly in the back. Knock that guy completely out. Get that reaper. There it is. Prevent these guys from coming in. Yep. Take out the roadhog. That's that. Game over. That's it. Play of the game. Yes, yes, yes. Sigma. Sigma kills. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing bump up there. From last week, we actually went where our JV had won the game and our varsity had a tough time and ended up with the loss. This week, we have the exact opposite. Our JV had a little bit of a tough time and they really put in the fight with Wake Forest. But then we, uh, our varsity got in and was able to win on two sweep. And that's the name of the game. To be honest with you, thank you very much for paying attention, for coming along, saying hi, saying everybody. I am Coach Jeff, DJ fame. This is the Hanover Horde. Thanks for watching from Coach Josh. Remember to visit us at Code Ninjas Hanover in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Everybody stay safe.